nigga. How the fuck you real, nigga? Squirrel, nigga. Roll that pressure up and pop a cell, nigga. Come here, baby girl, I'm tryna. Some days I be feeling like Meek. Other days I be feeling like Meech. You want it, I got it. The price I ain't dropping. I swear that these niggas be cheap. I still hold a gun when I sleep. She throw it back like a beast. I'm fucking her face while she getting eight. I swear that these bitches be freaks. I hit a home run with your bitch. She made me think I was Pedro. She fell in love with my drip. I think of my shirt, say Di Mateo. I used to trap out of Grand Am. But y'all screwed your best with a Grand Slam. My youngest ain't harder than Bam Bam. People protecting my drip. They mean I'm a damn man. You niggas ain't fucking with me. You niggas ain't fucking with me. I fucked up my boobs. Tell them in the truth. Shit, you are not a cousin to me. I need me like a couple mommies. I need me like a couple thotties. Bust down, Tatiana. I need me like a couple bodies. My name is Kafit. 24 year old rapper out of uh, Uptown, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I say, like, when I, when I was, I want to say kindergarten, that's when I started. I used to, uh, it's crazy how all this started. I used to like write love letters to girls and stuff, right? And that started when I was in like kindergarten. So as I got older, you know, I continued doing stuff like that. And then that graduated to poems. At the poems, that graduated to, to, to writing music. Um, as far as really thinking I could do something with it, I said about 15. I could never fear a man, cause that nigga bleed. Plus I got niggas that get busy like Christmas Eve. Let me chill, cause I ain't even trying to paint that scene. I had nightmares of dying while y'all living dreams. Shit ain't always what it seemed. Let me paint a picture of a hold it tight, knowing they try to come and get you. Or being... who, who, who are your musical influences around? Around that time. Number one, first and foremost, always I'm gonna say Cassidy. On the stuff that Cassidy always had bars, and I just wanted to, to to showcase my bars. I feel like bars. Back then, I felt like bars was like the most important part of music. Like if you didn't have bars, everything else was like irrelevant. Pretty much every uh, project that Cassidy put out back then, I pretty much know word for word. My first project was, uh, I released it in 2018 called Angles. Um, it was basically me just showcasing all the different things that I could do as far as uh, playing with the melodies, uh, spitting bars, and just, you know, regular rap about stuff that's going on. Started off with, um, I say, just putting stuff on SoundCloud regularly. Um, after that, that's what led to the Angles. I wanted to put out a body of work, something that people could listen to. And, and something that could survive for uh, a nice period of time. So I dropped my project Confidence uh, this year, and um, I got so much positive feedback on it and so much uh, great results. Um, and that pretty much just wanted me to, I just wanted to showcase who I am, not only just my talent and what I could do, but the things I've been through, you know, uh, what's going on in my life and stuff like that. And uh, now that led to me, um, Putting out a project that's that's based on what's going on right now as far as the uh the Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah, we screaming fuck the cops, but they just pawns in the system. They do just what they taught, which is turn us to a victim. I'm just fighting for my people, whether they Muslim or Christian. Grab my praying to Jehovah for all them things that we didn't witness. It's different. Why we supposed to social distance? Probably closer than ever. Yeah, we fighting together. But I go through anything just so my kids can look better. This so the murder of George Floyd, I think that's what really like put me in a position where like, man, I gotta speak on this. Um because like I said, it's been going on for a long time, but you know, besides like, you know, making your little small Instagram posts or, or speaking of it with your friends or, you know, your relatives. Um, that's all I did at that point. But after, you know, watching the video of uh, George Floyd, I think that I just I just had to do something about it. I had to I had to say something about it. So that that uh, led to me dropping this project. The name of the project is Kafir. Um, I, I actually had a homie named Mike that uh, I reached out to him <clears throat> because he's a. Uh, he has a he has a great mind, and um, I just wanted somebody with a great mind to 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 assist me with, um, really making this a project. I didn't want this to be just a, a, a you know just a, a few songs put together. I wanted to make this a project. So um, he really dug deep back in history and came up with that name Kafir. Um, and pretty much uh, I got songs called like uh, I Can't Breathe, um, Black Man, Black Queen, and the System. Uh, I Can't Breathe is, is pretty much uh, speaking on what propelled me to do this. Black men in America, uh, I don't think it, 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 it mixes well, honestly, like what's going on. I feel like 
America views the black man in a certain way that we don't deserve to be viewed in. After that, I got a song called The System, which I think I, it's my favorite song, personally. It's my favorite song on the project um, because I think I, I speak more of a message on that song than any of the rest. Um, and, and the message is that before we can change ourselves, we, we, we have to change the system. The bar that stick out to me the most that I that I uh, said in that song was um, when you go to the gun range, what color is your target? It's deeper than the surface. And if it ain't black, I bet it's still colored. How does that not make you nervous? Um, basically saying that I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I've never seen a target at a gun range or any type of range that's white. And the fact that they're colored or black, I feel like it, it's, it's deeper than just colors. You see what I'm saying? I think it's deeper than just what it seems to be. We screaming at the cops, but they just pawns in the system. They do this what they told, which is turn us into victims. I feel like the fact that this happened in multiple states, multiple cities, all across the world, I, I don't feel as though that's a coincidence. I feel like that this is what they're taught. How can I say this? I think that police really, they really teach themselves, teach uh, themselves that that the blue comes first. That they're supposed to stick together, um, whether they're right or wrong. They they gotta they gotta uh, you know agree with each other. Like for example, with the George Floyd video. You see a cop standing there when it doesn't take a rocket science or, or common sense to, to, to see that these other officers are doing wrong. So the fact that he stood there and didn't say anything, um, I think that, 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 that just sums up, you know, how, how the blue um, treats America and uh, as, uh, specifically black men. And um and how they stick together and, and pretty much that's all that matters to them. It is what it is. Your bitch wanna party with Fed. I took her back to the crib. She asked me about a mumble rapper. I do not know what that is. He said he wanted some beef. I went and grabbed me a sick. Pointed that shit at his body. And I started cooking his ribs. Fair guy jeans on me. Shit. I used to pray for this drip. Bust shit down with some butters, but all of the hoes still stick. I told her shake a low ass. She made it quick in this bitch. He dreaming a new Impala. Nada, I need a rape with a 10. I'm about to blow this year. Passing you niggas, switch gears. My bitch body stance, can't wear it. I put these slaps, Ric Flair. I'm feeling like Q, slow grind. And got it to waste, no time. Wait, I have a man. Don't let they get what I'm saying. Go high, and it is what it is. Three of your five favorite albums. Not, 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 not your top five or, or your, your five favorite rappers. And this is not in no specific order, but um, one album I would say is is something I really love is the Damn album by Kendrick. Um, I just felt like I'm gonna be honest, that was one of the first albums that I didn't have to skip to an, a, a different track. The Championships by Meek. Um, I felt like it was a tough, that was a tough uh, stretch for him. And the fact that, you know, a lot of people counted him out, which is something I, I can also um, relate to. Um, it just was, a like I said, a, an amazing body of work. Um, it had so many tracks on there, but they weren't tracks and, and it wasn't so many songs that you got away from it. You know, it wasn't so many songs that you got tired or you got bored. You know, it was so many songs and it was a mixture of things. Another another project I would have to say is All Eyes On Me. Um, I feel like this Tupac, personally, that's my that's my uh, one of my favorite rappers. Um, it just was so powerful, and, and as far as just talking to the people and speaking up for what's right, I feel like Tupac is, is above all uh, in that regard. I'm gonna have to say my favorite project of all time would have to be a uh, victory lap. Uh, Nip, it just was so crazy how he came up. Like, it's just so crazy because it's, it's, it's not it's not regular to me. It's not regular how he how he came up and, and how he went about everything. It's, it's irregular. Um, I'ma just be honest, it's irregular. Not everybody can do that. I don't know anyone else that can do that, honestly. Um, and as far as that project, it was so powerful. And the fact that the name of it was Victory Lap. I'm not, I'm not sure if people understand, but 
I ran check before. Check was 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 my main sport. And when someone takes a victory lap, that's after the race is over. That's after you've won already. So the fact that he named that project Victory Lap and then passed away soon after, I feel like that's another that's that's something else that's deeper than the surface. I feel like people gotta really look at that and understand what that means. Another project I like, I'm gonna say my own, honestly. My project I just dropped confidence. Um it's pretty much self-titled. Um titled after my brand. I just feel like I, I gave people all of me on that project from the first track feeling like. Um I gave how I feel on a day-to-day -day basis. I gave how I feel how how I always felt in life. Um to the second track misunderstood which i feel like a lot of us are a lot of us are from the hood like a lot of us there's so many of us that are from the hood but we don't carry ourselves like we're from the hood and we don't we don't act like we're from the hood and we're not you know out on the block like we're from the hood we still go to work we still you know take care of our family we still carry ourselves like you know somebody else that's not from the hood and i feel like that's so important because it's like not you know like i said just because i'm not posted on the block don't mean i ain't from the hood just because i'm not out there don't mean i wouldn't do the same stuff that the people out there um could do or worse you see what i'm saying i'm a type of person that i like to stay to myself i like to you know just hang around a certain group of people you know, I like to be around genuine love, people that really care for me. And, um, but that doesn't mean that I wouldn't go do the same stuff that these people might do. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm fully capable of doing the same stuff that they're doing. I'm just not making myself a target or, or, or making that really accessible or showing people that I am that way. Get it? Stripper, ass clapping. Niggas talking about features. Well, get the cash happen. Niggas say they got divas, but I'm mad smacking. Pound every chick that he get, like I was hashtagging. Lying in the field, I run that shit back like I'm Sanders, nigga. Yeah, this pole light, but it damn sure ain't got no manners, nigga. You the soul type to tell, going candy, nigga. Beef, I'm on top of my bread just like a sandwich, nigga. Come around here and try Juju on the beat. Cause I got a 19 to knock Juju out his cleats. Don't know where it came from, he think it's voodoo in these streets. Pull up on him, milk his ass, so I got you who in my peace. Uh. You was trying to get the work safe. I was on the block, gun cock, keeping work safe. Iron on me, yeah, I got that heat. Ain't talking shirt straight. Steven got a Smith with many clips, but all he need is the first take. Everybody that just support me as an artist, me as a as a friend. Um, I got so many, so many supporters, and I, I really appreciate it. And honestly, I, I'll say that they're the reason that I keep going and I keep pushing because it, it came a time where I really wanted to give up on music. Um, but it was just so many people that just like, you know, just just kept me going and, and kept supporting me that made me realize that, that I can't give up because I'll be giving up on more than just myself. So I just really appreciate that. Shout out to Headquarters Media. Um, all, all bars matter. Some solid, some solid dudes, some solid people. Uh, really appreciate them. Make sure you get with them.